so next link find arcans already you will wrote down the primary lymphoid organs uh, secondary lymphoid organs lymph node work raskunnaru so today class lo uh, spleen so you will note down the spleen the spleen is the largest mass of lymphatic tissues in the blood blood and is found between stomach and the diaphragm Uh, stomach and diaphragm so like the lymph nodes it is also has a hilus this is where the major blood vessels enter and leave like the thymus it only has efferent lymph vessels efferent lymph vessels which leaves from the which leaves from the hilum hilum and it does not have and it does not have afferent limb does not have afferent limb next para next para as well as acting as a store for platelets store for platelets it has two main functions in the one okay it reacts the it reacts to it reacts to it's react to blood borne antigens blood borne antigens by producing by producing antibodies in fact in fact is it the main source of circulating antibodies circulating antibodies second point it removes it removes defective red blood cells red blood cells and platelets from the circulation
of next para there are two main types of tissues in spleen there are two main main types of tissues in the spleen in the spleen in the spleen in the spleen are specialized for its two main functions are specialized with two main functions white pulp next para white pulp contains lymphoid aggregations lymphoid aggregations lymphoid aggregations comma mostly lymphocytes mostly lymphocytes mostly lymphocytes comma and macrophages and macrophages which are arranged around the which are arranged around the around the uh, arteries 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 okay the lymphocytes The lymphocytes are both T and B cells. Both T and B cells. Both T and B cells. Full stop. Red pulp is vascular. red pulp is vascular comma and has parenchyma and lots lots of vascular sinuses lots of not sir of vascular sinuses okay full stop these are sinusoids these are sinusoids
sinusoids a specialized a specialized type of capillary type of capillary type of capillary which is very leaky which is very leaky which is very leaky full stop the lining endothelial cells Endothelial cells have white slits between the white slits between the lateral margins. Lateral margins. Lateral margins. The duct has a filter. That act as a filter. Act as a filter. What is the Full stop. The blood cells have to. The blood cells have to have to. Move through these slits. Move through these slits before 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 blood cell, before they can leave, before they can leave the spleen, on one note, one note, or defective blood cells, defective blood cells are damaged during this process. Blood cells are damaged during this process the damage or sense the damage or sense are then phagocytosis by the numerous macrophages
numerizes macrophages in the red bulb that lies just next to the just next to the The red pulp that lies just next to the sensors, the spleen is covered by a dense capsule. The spleen is covered by a dense capsule. Dense capsule. Dense capsule. Come on, and there are connective tissue trabeculae. And there are connective tissue trabeculae. So, which provide internal support for the spleen. Which provide internal support for the spleen. and carry the blood vessels and carry the blood vessels into the spleen This is the diagram of this plane. So we will see the diagram. Okay. So you will see the diagram. Uh, outer surface is covered by the capsule so longitudinal st internal structure this is called the uh, trabeculae so two reasons is the red pulp and white pulp so these are the uh, white red pulp so these are the artery so this is also red pulp uh, and uh, spinic pulp okay so this is the white pulp white pulp so the key, splenic uh, trabeculae so uh, fibrous cap these are the transversal sections of the uh, spleen okay uh, so uh, transversal section in the spleen diagram children looks are clear huh? the tensions tensions are large non-encapsulated masses of lymphoid tissue 
that lie in the walls of the pharynx on nasopharynx under the base of the tongue it's okay so tonsils are large non encapsulated masses of lymphatic tissue that lie in the walls of the pharynx and nasopharynx so under the base of the tongue okay the luminal surface of the tonsils the luminal surfaces of the tonsils is covered is uh, covered with this stratified squamous epithelium the next the tonsils have many investigation imaginations which form blind grips below the epithelium there are many lymphoid lymphoid follicles beneath which have germinal centers like the lymph nodes the epithelial cells are able to phagocytosis bacteria and transfer them the macrophages which then present the foreign antigens to b cells which are activated again like the mark mark the activated cells mostly secrete iga type antibodies which are secreted locally you should note that this you should note that this partially encapsulated tonsils lymphoid aggregations are not involved in filtering lymph okay this is the tonsils tonsils we will repeat the organs tonsils are large non encapsulated masses of lymphoid tissue that lie in the walls of the pharynx and nasopharynx under the base of the tongue so the luminal surface of the tonsils is covered with a stratified squamous epithelium the tonsils have many imaginations which form blind grips so below the epithelium there are many lymphoid follicles beneath which have germinal centers like the lymph nodes the lymph epithelial cells are able to phagocytosis bacteria and transfer them to macrophages which then present the foreign antigens to b cells which are activated so again the malt the activated cells mostly secrete iga type antibodies so which are secreted locally you should note that these partially encapsulated tonsils lymphatic aggregations are not involved in filtering lymph okay so after that uh, mucosa associated lymphatic tissue the mucosa of the digestive comma respiratory and urinary tracts often 
contains small aggregations of lymphocytes called lymphatic follicles these are called mucosa associated lymphatic tissue MALD malt okay the epithelium of the mucosa contains special flat epithelial cells called M cells membrane like FAE cells that is the follicle associated epithelial cells after that these specialized cells takes play, take up small amounts of gut antigens entering the gut lumen and pass them on to antigen positive cells and lymphocytes of the malt okay so after Diffuse B lymphocytes in gut react to microorganisms that across the mucosa. Diffuse B lymphocytes in gut react to microorganisms that cross the mucosa, comma, and they make IgA type antibodies, which are then secreted directly onto the gut lumen. okay these antibodies help to prevent these antibodies help to prevent microorganisms in the gut from sticking to the gut epithelium and can neutralize toxins and viruses last but one PS patches PERS -E patches. Okay. So, in some cases, these aggregations are large and confluent. This happens in the tonsils, PERS patches. So, paste patches paste patches mostly contain T cells but also can have germinal centers that contains B lymphocytes as well as macrophages Okay. So, paste patches to, to not have any afferent lymphatic. The activated lymphocytes pass out in afferent lymphatic and travel to the lymph nodes. Paste patches do not have any afferent lymphatic. The activated lymphocytes pass out in afferent lymphatic and travel to the lymph nodes. Okay. So, mucosa associated lymphatic tissue. Uh, the mucosa of the digestive, respiratory, and urinary tract often contains small aggregations of lymphocytes called lymphatic follicles. These are called mucosa associated lymphatic tissue, that is called MALT. The epithelial of the mucosa contains special flat epithelial cells called M, M cells and FAE cells, follicle associated epithelial cells. So, these specialized cells take up small amounts of gut antigens 
entering the gut lumen and pass them on to antigen presenting cells and lymphocytes of the malt. So diffuse B lymphocytes in gut react to microorganisms that cause the mucosa and they make IgA type antibodies which are then secreted directly onto the gut lumen. So these antibodies help to prevent microorganisms in the gut from strictly to that gut epithelium and can neutralize toxins and viruses. Okay. Next phase patches. In some cases, these aggregations are large and confluent. This happens in the tonsils, phase patches. So, phase patches mostly contain T cells but also can germinal centers that contain B lymphocytes as well as macrophages. Phase patches do not do not have any afferent lymphatics. The activated lymphocytes pass out in afferent lymphatic and travel and travel to the lymphatic nose.